technical progress makes it possible. While the archaeologists of the past still had to painstakingly search the ground for ancient traces, modern satellites give us a completely new view of our world. With the help of complex spacecraft, some long-forgotten relics have already been tracked down, which the researchers had previously simply overlooked. We will now show you which 10 fascinating sites were discovered through the use of satellites and what exciting stories these ruins and artifacts tell. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to hear about an artifact that's almost too crazy to be real. Mysterious Tomb Between the 3rd and 7th centuries, the inhabitants of ancient Japan dug burial mounds called kofun. Particularly exciting, each of these venerable tombs is shaped like a keyhole. The Daisen Kofun is by far the largest burial mound. Together with the Pyramid of Cheops and the Mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang, it's even one of the three largest tombs of all time. Built in the 5th century, the approximately 365-meter-long and 30-meter-high structure serves as the final resting place of Emperor Nintoku. The big problem for the curious archaeologists is the fact that the Kofuns are not allowed to be touched, let alone professionally examined. In order to find out more about the background of these sacred places, the experts are therefore increasingly relying on satellite images. As part of their work, the researchers found that the Kofuns all face the rising sun. The keyhole shape is probably actually a representation of the sun rising behind a sacred mountain. Situations such as this are often difficult for investigators and experts to wrap their heads around. This is not only because the location appears to defy all logic, but also because they're forbidden from touching anything. The truth is, it would be highly likely that this mystery could be solved if experts were simply allowed to more closely examine the artifacts. However, due to religious and spiritual beliefs, as well as simple history preservation, they're forbidden from doing so. This is an extremely frustrating situation for experts because they feel confident that they could get to the bottom of this strange history story, but they're simply not allowed to. Ancient Egyptian Trading Center Thanks to the analysis of satellite images, we know that a mysterious ancient settlement once existed 320 kilometers south of Cairo. The experts estimate that the site was built around 1,600 years ago. Clear indications of agricultural use can be seen on the corresponding images. The discovery of pottery remains and coins shows that the unnamed city was once an important regional trading center. In detail, the inhabitants of this era mainly did business with the peoples of Greece, Turkey, and Libya. According to the experts, however, this exciting discovery represents only the tip of the archaeological iceberg. As a result, there may still be numerous undiscovered traces of forgotten cities in Egypt. Particularly sad, some of these ancient ruins may lie buried inaccessible beneath modern-day cities. Archaeologists estimate that the remains of ancient settlements were often flattened by bulldozers to make room for modern metropolises. This is incredibly disheartening information for historical archaeologists, as it may just prove that the the answers they've been looking for over the last few hundred years may simply not exist anymore. All of us, likely, would like to know how the pyramids were built all those years ago. However, as land was reused for other purposes, such as buildings, cities, or homes, much of the evidence of this historical era of human history may have been permanently damaged, lost, or destroyed entirely. Nan Madol. More than a thousand years old and situated on a picturesque coral reef, 
The submerged city of Nan Madol is also known as the Venice of the Pacific. In more detail, this ancient ruined city stretches across 92 man-made islands, each roughly the size of a soccer field. At the time, Nan Madol had very little to do with a city in the traditional sense. The countless islets were primarily used as sacred ritual centers. Only a hand-picked political religious elite was granted permanent residence on Nan Madol. The imposing buildings that have successfully withstood the ravages of time show that they're made of gigantic stones. However, how the blocks were transported to their intended locations is still an unsolved mystery. No less mysterious is the fact that the researchers have not yet been able to unearth any carvings or works of art in Nan Madol. It's been known for some time that today's ruined city exists. However, modern satellite images only revealed their original overall size later. The experts were able to identify more than 90 geometrically similar basic shapes. The purpose of the individual buildings is still the subject of research. Sunken City not every archaeological discovery is the result of years of targeted searching, because some finds are more or less accidental. This is also the case with the approximately 6,000-year-old coastal town that was rediscovered in Croatia. When researcher Mate Parica scrutinized the satellite imagery of the relevant coastline, he came across a mysterious region off the port town of Korzula. In order to understand what the mysterious structures on the seafloor are really about, a professional diving team was dispatched to the site of discovery. Shortly afterwards, it was clear these are the sunken remains of a Neolithic settlement that was built around 4500 BC. At the site, which has been swallowed up by rising sea levels over time, researchers also found stone tools, fragments of pottery, and remains of walls. However, the identity of the builders is still unknown. As far as we can tell, it's become increasingly unlikely that we'll ever uncover all the history behind this strange and previously undiscovered settlement. Water erosion has caused massive amounts of damage that simply cannot be reversed, meaning that much of the history of this area may simply be lost to time. That doesn't mean that researchers may not be able to learn more about this settlement and what their daily lives would have looked like. However, it does mean that much of the written or collected history of this area may simply remain unknown forever. Settlement in the Desert Where cool water is scarce and the climate is hot, it's important to discover new sources of water. In order to track down previously undiscovered underground water deposits in Qatar, U.S. researchers have examined selected regions of the country with satellites. The evaluation of the recordings then revealed an unexpected secret of the past, the ruins of a 3,600-year-old settlement in the middle of the desert. However, the ancient building structures can only be seen from a bird's eye view. If you walk through the desert landscape normally, it would be practically impossible to pay attention to the historical remains. Age determination has been mastered using radiocarbon dating, but unfortunately, we know nothing about the occupants of the former facility. Judging by their nature, the inhabitants practiced agriculture here and supplied themselves with the groundwater resources. In the ranks of archaeologists, this discovery was a big sensation. It had previously been assumed that people lived completely nomadic at the time. However, now they believe that their take on history may be vastly incorrect, and they're tasked with going back to the drawing board to better understand this odd moment in history. Record Lightning a lightning bolt usually lasts no longer than 0.25 seconds. 
and the spark discharges can reach an average length of 10 to 15 kilometers. However, the mega lightning strike, which was identified two years ago using satellite images, can only smile wearily at such values. In fact, the record flash reached an unbelievable length of almost 770 kilometers, illuminating the sky for a little longer than 17 seconds. In detail, this elemental spectacle took place over Uruguay and northern Argentina. According to the experts, we'll probably see similar and even more extreme flashes more frequently in the future. This is not only due to the increasingly advanced measurement methods, but also to the sad fact that our blue home planet is slipping into an unpredictable future. Bronze Age Streets Streets have become an integral part of our modern, everyday life, but our ancestors also relied on fixed connecting routes in order to get from A to B quickly and accurately. Recently, using satellite imagery, researchers uncovered primitive roads in Arabia that date back to the Bronze Age. More precisely, the experts suspect that these were corridors that connected different oases. The approximately 4,500-year-old connecting routes must have had enormous economic and social significance. No less exciting is the fact that many graves were also built along the streets. So far, experts have been able to track down almost 18,000 of these final resting places. At that point in time, it wouldn't have been terribly uncommon for these roads to have been heavily traveled each and every day with people who were in search of water or other resources. These days, if we need something, we can either go to the store or just pick up our phone and place an order for whatever that item is. However, back then, simply going to a corner store wasn't an option, and many people had to travel great distances simply to reach a water source. Not only that, but they would have had to fill their water buckets themselves, then bring the full buckets back to their homes so that their family could survive. Some of us struggled just to bring a milk jug from our car to our kitchen, but imagine having to carry gallons upon gallons of water along these streets every single day in the sweltering sun. It's certainly nice to have modern conveniences, even though many of us may daydream about going off-grid. Mysterious Shell Rings Experts from the Pennsylvania State University have identified strange structures in the southeast of the USA, so-called shell rings. Located under the dense thicket of the forest, the mysterious objects are far from any civilization. The background to this discovery is still completely unclear. Well, we know that such monuments were built by Native Americans some 5,000 to 3,000 years ago. Why they did so has long been the subject of heated debate. Some researchers suggest that such sites served ceremonial purposes. Others see them as astronomical observatories or gambling arenas. Ancient Fortresses Sometimes it's the turmoil of the present that makes it difficult for researchers to gain insight into the past. In the past few decades, Libya has repeatedly been shaped by political upheavals and terrible civil wars. Despite this, thanks to modern satellite technology, a team of experts managed to track down a number of ancient fortifications in the middle of the Libyan desert. Its creators are considered to be the Garamantes, an ancient Berber people who been resident in what is now Libya since the 5th century BC at the latest, and who subjugated many surrounding peoples. The Garamantes owed their great military success not least to their use of the chariot, which was revolutionary at the time. What ultimately led to the downfall of these people is disputed. What is certain is that the Romans invaded the kingdom of the Garamantes in the 1st century AD and possibly destroyed their capital in the process. Despite this, the empire continued to exist into the 7th century, and it was only during the Arab invasion that the last chief of the Garamantes was deposed. Legendary Battlefield 
It's October 18, 1540, when what is now the U.S. state of Alabama is the scene of one of the most costly battles in the North American Native American Wars. In order to lure the Spanish invaders into a trap, the chief Tuscaloosa invited the Europeans in, ostensibly to provide them with guides and food. When the Spaniards finally arrived in Mabila, however, they were shocked to find that not a richly set table was waiting for them but a large fortress and hundreds of enemy warriors. Subsequent fighting continued throughout the day. At the end of the battle, the Spaniards only had 22 dead. The Indians had up to 2,500. Although the Battle of Mabila is of great historical importance, no one knows exactly where it took place, a huge mystery which may now have been deciphered by satellite images. Examination of the soil structure suggests suggests that what was then the city of Mobila was in what is now Mobile County. Future archaeological expeditions should help confirm this exciting assumption. Until then, however, the suspected location will be kept top secret. The researchers fear the valuable site could otherwise be visited by amateur archaeologists and become damaged. Experts are hopeful that examining this site will allow them to better understand the history of that time period, as well as the war that saw so many Native Americans lose their lives. We often think about the founding of the United States as being one of the most devastating blows to the the Native American community. However, the Native Americans faced many threats of violence over the years. The founding of the United States of America was simply the final nail in the proverbial coffin for them, with only a few thousand Native Americans remaining these days. All right, folks, now it's your turn. Which of the featured discoveries fascinated you the most? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. If you enjoyed our foray into the world of exciting finds, please give us a thumbs up. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you never miss a video again. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, and see you next time.